everyone. Welcome to Best Recipes with Sharon. Here is a wonderful cookie recipe called Peanut Butter Blossom Cookies. These are perfectly crispy and chewy at the same time. So stay with me and I'll show you how to make these. Start by adding half a cup of butter to the large mixing bowl. Then add one large egg. Half a cup of brown sugar. And also half a cup of white sugar. Then turn the mixer on and mix that until it's creamed together well. Then add half a cup of smooth peanut butter. Then mix that together until it's well combined. So once that's mixed together, stop the mixer and add in one teaspoon of vanilla. Now then one teaspoon of baking soda. Then a quarter of a teaspoon of salt. And finally one and three quarters of a cup of all-purpose flour. That together until it's all well combined and the mixture turns into a soft dough. And the dough will seem quite stiff. Take a large spoon and scrape down the sides of the bowl and make sure that the dough clings together well. We'll put it into a Ziploc bag and we'll refrigerate it for at least an hour or overnight. Some people will refrigerate the chocolate kisses or the rosebuds at this point, but I don't refrigerate those because I find that it takes a little bit of melting on top of the cookie in order for them to stick to the cookie properly. But when you're ready to do your cookies, get some sugar out for rolling and put it in a small bowl. And preheat your oven to 375 degrees. Then pinch off little pieces of the dough and shape it into about one inch round balls. And roll it in the sugar until it's coated entirely. Then place the coated sugar balls on top of parchment paper on a cookie sheet. And they should be approximately two inches apart. And you can bake them just like they are in the round balls, but I like to take the bottom of a cup and just press down on it a little bit just to help shape them into a little bit more of a round effect and so that they're not so thick through. Place them in your preheated 375 degree oven on the middle rack and set your timer for between 9 and 10 minutes. And it depends on your oven, you may want to check on them sooner. And while we're waiting for the cookies to bake, that's when you peel your chocolate kisses. And you can also prepare for your next batch to go in the oven. When the cookies are done, remove them from the oven. And right away, while they're still hot, place a chocolate kiss in the middle of each of them, or two rosebuds. And they will start to melt just a little bit, but you want them to do that so that it glues basically onto the top of the cookie. And as it cools off, then the chocolate will stick to the cookie better. And I take them and place them on a cooling rack like this to finish cooling off. Now don't these look good? Actually, they taste every bit as good as they look too. This is a well sought after recipe. So I'm sharing this with you today. I hope you make it and enjoy it. And it's good for any time of the year, but especially during the holidays. And if you're looking for a little entertainment, check out my son's YouTube channel. It's called Ryan's Miscellaneous. And for today, thank you so much for watching. And until next time, happy eating.